the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, has retweeted his claim that there was no massacre at the Lekki Two Gates on October 20, 2020. Lai Mohammed said this at a press briefing in Abuja on Tuesday, November 23rd, where he described the report as fake. A week ago, the judicial panel set up to investigate the Lekki Two Lekki shooting presented its report to the Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwulu. In the report, the panel described the shooting of unarmed citizens during a protest as a massacre and indicted the Nigeria Army and police. Lai Mohammed, however, described the allegations by the panel as tears by moonlight. Okay, day by moon, day by moonlight. Mm. Why did ah? Is it this what is it what you are supposed to have said all this why since how many days now you now woke up from your slumber? So why is it that you didn't just see it almost immediately? You just have to look at it now. How can you say it stays by moonlight when the government or the legal state government has not even brought out their fake or their their white paper or their white documents as they said? So why are you concluding or you are the legal state because we had from the presidency saying that until Lagos state we act on it before they will know what to do but like Mohammed has already come out to tell us that it is fake so if it is fake so what is uh, the government of Lagos what would they be talking about or what would they be saying in the white paper why do we like to embrace negative things the issue of target needs to be assessed faithfully without bias the misuse of waste without thinking is not helping us as a nation, when you say massacre, it means uncountable lives were lost. For those who are lazy intellectually, should please find time to check their dictionary and see the real meaning of massacre. We are waiting for legal state government to release its white paper and the truth will finally come out. Hmm. Pot calling care to black. Maybe when Ogalai was created, he was among the masses that don't have the grace of sense because... The instrument of brain and intelligence was exhausted and God didn't want to sand, want the sand to be wasted because he believed when they get to the world, they will have to the opportunity to mingle with those that have brain and benefit from the relationship, thereby getting some recipe, but alas, they don't value the benefits. We are waiting for the white decision indeed. You are talking about human lives as a mere number. A statistical value which is insignificant except for lazy intellectuals if it is not uncountable lord have mercy why are you waiting for legal state government to do about it what do you want to do about what them to do about an insignificant number that doesn't qualify to be a massacre you see how some people are trivialized so if one person life is being lost it's not massacre mm, so they just they played with them this is so shameful for such an elderly man. He's deliberately covering up for his paymasters, forgetting that God is watching him. They will all pay for their wickedness someday. Hmm. You never disappoint me, sir. It is your stock in trade. Lai Gilbert Muhammad. We are thrilled. Mr. Liar, remember King Pharaoh and remember God. You are Muslims. It's or uh, Muslim or Christians, you must answer. Whether you are Muslim or Christians, you must answer. God, at the end of the day, does this guy have his soul? Really, whoever said there's massacre, he doesn't know what massacre. He should check his dictionary and get the meaning. You are right. If you kill up to one thousand, then that is massacre. <laughs> Can you imagine? So, but they kill. So you guys are now agreeing that they kill. So this, but why did they say they did not kill? Ah, <clears throat> well, the spirit of innocence so who died in Lekki shooting, we descend on Lai Muhammad and his family. This man is not humble to accept the truth. The names released are they fakes? People are saying that hey, huh. We are in for big shock or trouble in this country. Then what really happened? Perhaps human slaughtering. Tell us more, Minister. Lie we bury with Lie Muhammad and truth we depart from his generations. It is unclear someone has sold his soul to the devil. 
It is clear. It is so shameful, disgusting, embarrassing for an elderly man, a grand or great grandfather of Lai Muhammad Kaliba, to come out on air to discredit a report that took months of investigation by people trained to do so to come out with the truth that Lai tries to use Lai to cover because of the deadness of his conscience. That is Satan controlled to see the blood of the innocent people that was sacrificed against oppression, injustice, corruption at the peak of tyranny as nothing because the soldiers, police and the other agents that were sent to carry out the heinous crime did a good job for their paymaster's perspective but not from the perspective of God in heaven. Hmm, wow. You don't finish. Only a fool will believe in that stupid report. Okay. <laughs> Only a sadist and imbecile individual who believe in a report like this. Fanatics like such individual doesn't allow a country to grow. Shameless low-life imbecile, deranged lunatic, that is the meaning of lie. Anyone who has this man as a father does not have a father. <laughs> ah, well, of course, his children will be proud of him now. He, they are all eating from the from the pots of a uh, injustice. Hmm. Well, I said lie has not spoken. They are afraid of facing ICC after twenty twenty three. That is it. Former chief of army staff Ihe Jirika is still in ICC. And I know President Jonathan did not recommend his trial to ICC. Your children and grandchildren will face what these victims face in Lekki Togit, what the protesters face. It is if truly there was, and you see denying it, very soon it will be your turn, Agbaya. The only man that knows what is fake, could this be problem arising from old age alone, or this man is living in the moon? You are still talking when you ought to be shamed, to be ashamed of yourself. The best way is for APC to go uh, prosecute all those involved. How can they prosecute the people they sent? It's not going to be possible now. It is not going to be possible. Whether they agree to it or not, they have their conscience. Whether they are going to manipulate it or not, it is a different thing altogether. They know what happened. Let them deny. They can deny from all we care. It doesn't matter. But... One thing that is sure that the panel that they set set up, they have brought us something, and at least that should be able to gladden the heart of the people. Whether they deny it or not, it is inconsequential. Let them deny it from that eternity. It does not matter.